what's up 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 it's your girl i'm for rock and i'm coming your way once again with celebrated tips right here on liberal channel your number one number one news channel charlie miss bell is in trouble miss bell is in a real shit like she's deadly in trouble i want to go into details about this but before that let's go for a quick commercial break when we come back we'll rock it <laughs> Welcome back from that quick commercial break. I was songstress, Ghanaian songstress, Miss Bill. I don't know if you've heard, I've been 16 years. The 16 years queen is in trouble. She went on her page to post something that was forced against the EIB Network CEO, aka Bola Ray. Forced post about him. And I think right now the fans of Bolare are getting back at her strongly with threatening messages and like you wouldn't even understand. But why would you wake up one morning and you because you want to trend, you just go to the internet or the social media to just post something that is false about someone. Someone has not really, 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 really said something and you go to say that the person said this, the person said that. It's not right. If you want to trend, trend in a better way, in a like a better society because of late we've had you having beef with um, Efia Schwarzenegger, uh, what's this girl, Tracy Boachi and co. That doesn't mean of late because of that issues it has come down. You are not trending anymore. So if you want to trend, you shouldn't be posting false allegations about people. You shouldn't be posting false allegations about people. So Bolare went to his Facebook page just to call out Ms. Bell to give her straight warning that if she doesn't want trouble she should take her name out of politics because he's not a politician and a whole lot like with and he she went on a social media page to delete that message but before she went to delete it most of us have seen the messages most of us saw the message she sent to Bolare, and i know my producer will put this thing this message on the screen for you for you to read it she brought out a false message and right now people that love bola ray people that love bola ray really wants to get back at her they want to get back at her because i don't get it why would you wake up one morning to just frame up a huge story like this not to anyone the eib network ceo Miss Bell, what is wrong? Is it, is it depression or you are out of fame or you think you've stopped trending? We still love you. As you being a songstress, we still love you. But this is not right. Trust me, this is not right. What you just did was a whole lot of shit. Right now you are in danger because you think Ghanaians needs to come out, come and protect you. No, we are supporting Bola Ray because whatever people love him you know this industry this media industry you have loved ones people follow you and you you also have people that will always stand by you in times of trouble so you shouldn't have done what you did it was totally wrong total totally wrong me like this when i when i saw the story i was like whoa miss bell you were one of my fans and i wasn't expecting that from you trust me because it looks like you are depressed it looks like you want to still have faith you still want to be reigning in uh, like social media you can still do some short videos and bring it out and people will still appreciate you for what you do but not bringing fake news about someone it's not right Trust me, because Bolare is one person, you don't really hear about him. You don't really, really, really hear about him. He's cool, he's, he's the type, he doesn't really like talking and all that. But what you did was barbaric. Sorry for my words, but it was really barbaric. Like, I'm, I'm so much angry right now. Like, you've made me angry, like... I wasn't expecting that from you at all, big sister or big mother or whatever you want me to call you. But what you did on social media today 
Whoa, it was a blast. Right now your life is in danger. People are threatening you because they are going to burn down your, your pub and I don't know. Can you even sleep in your house today? What you just did has caused a whole lot of mess. Can you even sleep in your house today? Can you go and open oh, your pub there? Yeah, I don't think you can open it because um, our president has declared that pubs should still be closed. So your pub, I don't think you can open it. But if you will still operate the pub, can you still go there? With a threaten you are having on social medias, can you still go there? What you did, you yourself, when you sat down to create this fake news, this fake fake, fake, fake news about the CEO of EIB Network, Bulleray. Like, did you even think of it? You could choose any other person that maybe is in your rage, your rage of songs and all that, to, to do this. But Bulleray, Miss Bill, why? Why? Is it depression that has gotten over you? Or you, you, you want to trend? I just don't get this whole shit. Like, I don't really get it. I don't really get this whole issue that you just did. I don't really get it. Why will you wake up one morning? Is it that, sorry to say, are you getting mad or are you just insane? You just woke up one morning and you decided to wrote this whole thing about Bolare. Whilst he has not even said anything. Don't you think Bulare has platform and has people, if he wants to say something about the elections or politics, he will come out on his own to say it on his platform. He's the EIB Network CEO. He has a TV station. He can go there and say whatever he wants to say. You don't need to come out and come and tell him what he needs to say. What you did was barbaric, trust me. What you just did was barbaric. Right now your life is in danger. And will you go and call on the police? Will you go and call on the police? He just came out. Okay, let me read the caption. Miss Bell brought on his, um, uh, what they call it? Instagram page that someone has threatened him after he posted the fake news about Bola Ray. The message goes like, don't be surprised to, to my boys at your restaurant in Tema. You think I am those ordinary Ghanaians if I speak not. Even John Mahama cannot save you. Trust me. That was the caption the person gave to Miss Bell. And it's true. You can't even stay in Ghana. Because if people are really attacking you, I think you fly out of the country very soon. You need to leave. Because what you did... The loved ones that we, the love we have for Bulare, his loved ones, we are fighting and we'll fight for him. What you did was wrong, dear sister. What you did was really, 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 really wrong. I was so amazed to see such a thing. I wasn't expecting because we thought we are old enough to at least reason. You just can't come out and come and make fake news about something. Or even you and Tracy Boachie's beef and all that. At least that one is you. At least you are all in the entertainment industry. But a CEO for that matter. Masa, why? A CEO for that matter. You just came out to tarnish his image or I don't know. What were you trying to do? To make him a bad person in the sight of his loved ones? Or what were you really trying to do? I, I just don't get it. I, I just really don't get it. What you were trying to do. I was really, 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 really mad. Because the love we have for Bulare is great. You just can't come out and just say things like that. You, you can't post fake news. He's not a politician. So don't include him in your politics. Miss Bell, don't include Bulare in your politics. We don't need it. If you want to train, find ways and means to train. Find ways and means to be on social media still. But don't go like you, you, you are spoiling someone or tarnishing someone's image just to be popular again. No, we love you for you being a musician. So go in that way and stop doing dirty politics. Stop doing dirty politics. If you are for party A, party B, it, it's no one's business. 
It's no one's business. You just can't come out and just be bomb blasting people that are innocent of whatever you are saying. This man is pretty, pretty, pretty innocent of whatever you are saying. You just came out to bring a fake news because you want to trend. Miss Bell, I'm highly disappointed in you. Trust me, I'm highly disappointed in you. Whatever you did today is really, really bad. If you want to trend, at least you can still be your 16 and do your music and trend. Fine, we'll Ghanaians will accept you like that. But don't tarnish the image of someone. This is your girl, Emma Farrock, and I'll come your way once again with Celebrated Tips right here on Liberal Channel, your number one, number one news channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Emma Farrock loves you.